Even if you're not a rapper, you might still be able to take away some really valuable insights from Young Thug's new album release, Slime Language 2. What's up guys, Justin here, and if you're a fan of Young Thug, you know that he just dropped a new album called Slime Language 2. And if you're not a fan of Young Thug, well, there's a good chance that you still might enjoy the album for some of the other artists that are on it. This album is a great example of a concept called cross-promotion. Now, if you're a member of my private community of Music Promotion Insiders, you'll likely recall this concept from the most recent training that I released on the topic of completely free ways to promote your music and build your fan base. If you're not a Music Promotion Insider yet, that's okay. Just click the little icon in the upper right corner of the screen or the link down in the video description below to join. And also, if you're an independent artist and you find this video helpful, there are a ton more like it here on the channel, so you'll also likely enjoy those as well. So be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and tick that little bell icon to be notified when new videos are released here on the channel. All right, so back to Young Thug. What is so interesting about this new album that made me want to make a video about it? Well, it isn't anything revolutionary or groundbreaking. It's actually pretty common practice, especially in the world of hip hop. Slime Language 2 features a slew of popular rappers, including Drake, Future, Travis Scott, Big Sean, Kid Cudi, and several others. Now, by featuring all these different rappers on his album, Young Thug is able to appeal and get exposure to those artists' fan base, and he's able to build his own fan base in the process. So all you need to do is get Drake and Travis Scott to be on your next album, and I'm just kidding, so, well, sort of. Now, if you can get them on your next album, that's great, but it's probably not gonna happen. But that's okay, because you don't need a superstar on your next album. All you need is an artist that already has a fan base of their own, and you can tap into that audience to start to grow your following. And it works both ways. That artist is also getting exposure to your fan base, which will help them grow their fan base as well. So that's one method of cross-promotion, being a featured artist or featuring other artists on your music. But there are other ways to cross-promote your music as well, like booking shows together or touring with other artists. Whenever you play a show with other bands or other artists, that audience that might have come to see them is now discovering you and your music. So you get to grow your fan base by getting exposure to theirs and vice versa. You can also cross-promote on social media. Now you've probably actually already done this before. Even if it wasn't with other artists, I'm sure you've posted photos with friends on Instagram and then tagged them. And they've tagged you in photos as well, probably. And this is a form of cross promotion. Now you might be promoting your friends like, hey, this is my friend Jennifer, go follow her. But the concept, the same basic concept still applies. Those people are in your post and they're be being seen by your followers, many of whom would never have seen that individual otherwise. But of course, if you're promoting other artists, you definitely do want to give that call to action. Hey, check out so-and-so on Spotify, go follow them, click the link in their bio to check out their newest release, et cetera, et cetera. And then they can do the same for you. You can send out email blasts to your email subscribers, sharing new releases from other artists that might be friends of yours or that you worked out a cross-promotion deal with. And then they can do the same for you and everyone grows together. Now, cross-promotion is a fantastic way to grow your audience because there's something else going on with cross-promotion as well. It's not just about getting exposure to new audiences. It's also an endorsement. The best kind of promotion is word-of-mouth promotion. When a friend tells you, hey, you've got to go try this restaurant, or hey, you've got to go see this movie, or hey, you've got to go check out this album, you're inclined to actually do it because your friend told you that it was good and you trust your friend's judgment. Right? Some more than others probably, but you get what I'm saying. Now, when Young Thug features Drake on his album, he's giving Drake an endorsement saying, hey, if you're a fan of my music, you'll also like him. And Drake's doing the same thing, endorsing Young Thug by appearing on his album. So with cross-promotion, there's another level beyond just getting exposure to new audiences. You can easily get all the exposure in the world with Facebook ads, right? But when someone sees a Facebook ad, they don't necessarily think, oh, well, Facebook clearly endorses this ad, so it must be good. No, that doesn't happen. But when an artist tells their fans, hey, go check out this other artist, you're gonna love their new music, you're gonna love this new track, that actually carries a lot more weight. So it's a combination of exposure and also the endorsement. And that's why cross-promotion can be so effective. And it doesn't have to cost you anything. You just have to build those relationships. Connect with other artists that are at about the same level as you, promote one another, and everyone grows together. So think about some ways that you can work with other artists to do some cross-promotion. Start building those relationships, and you'll be able to grow your fan base much faster than doing it alone. All right, so hopefully this has been somewhat insightful. Again, if you're serious about promoting your music and building your fan base, you should click the little icon in the upper right corner of the screen so you can join my private community of Music Promotion Insiders. And if you found this video helpful, there's a ton more here on the channel, so be sure that you hit that subscribe button and tick the little bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are released here on the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.